Hmm, locked. Huh. It can probably be opened from the inside. Oh, great. The rust bucket's dead, but the lock is still working. The windshield is encrusted with dirt. Oh, there's a sign behind it. Maybe the name of the driver? Sure, puff. Huh. Well, that could spell anything. Ah, oh, Miss Hinkle lost her dachshund. Well, I'm sure it'll turn up. I mean, there wasn't much kerosene in the turbine after all. You have to be age six or older to use this device. Oh, <laughs> how boring is that? What's going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax on the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting... <clears throat> Draw a waiting number, and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well, I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. I hate lines. Number 66. Almost my lucky number. Hello, Lottie. You too. <clears throat> you, you too? Dear me, what a day. Where's the girl from Elysium? Princess Sugar... <clears throat> yeah. Princess Sugar Bottom? Oh, she's lying around in the assembly hall. Of course, I knew you came because of her. It's always the same. <clears throat> always the same. A beautiful young girl in a tight jumpsuit falls from the sky heavily injured. And immediately, <laughs> everyone's falling over themselves to help her. Hussy. Hussy! I want to see the mayor. Everyone... <clears throat> Everyone does. Take a number and wait your turn. Can you make an exception and let me in before the others? It's your turn when you... Your number comes up! No exceptions. Not even for me? Especially not for you! I officially want to deregister my residence here on Deponia. Although a lot of people will be glad to hear that. Me, for instance. That won't be possible today! The, <clears throat> the mayor is pretty busy at the moment. But the line isn't moving at all. Who's next anyway? Number 62. I think that's Wenzel. Wenzel is also applying? But Wenzel isn't even here. Well, it's his turn. Wenzel is up next. No exceptions! Is it my turn already? No. Number 62 is still up! Wenzel. Wenzel, exactly! I'll skedaddle. Don't let the door hit you. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter. Lotech thinks the girl should be, um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? The girl belongs to me. That'll be determined by the mayor. Well, how do I get to the mayor? That's easy. Take a number and stand at the end of the line. Couldn't you let me cut in? See, I'm in a bit of a hurry and... I see. Well, if that's the case... Do you want my chair? Shall we get you something to drink while you're waiting? We could bake a cake for you, too. Really? 
I like cactus cake, but no raisins. Thanks very much. And, oh, I see. Crap. Now I'm hungry. Where's the girl now? She's lying in the assembly hall. Dr. Gizmo is with her. They say she's unconscious. I hope she isn't injured. So do I. So do I. It's not easy stacking exhaust pipes with broken arms. Nice hats. Did I miss a trend or something? The roofer switched to making hats, because it hasn't rained for months. <laughs> I see. And I'm sure the trousers are from the guy who used to make tarps, right? <laughs> hey, my wife... Well, thanks for nothing. I'll skedaddle. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. What? Come on! Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> The coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Huh, obviously there's a preparation for a celebration going on. Bad la... Uh, something. Rue. Huh? Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and, uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well... How about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. <laughs> I knew it. How does that detonation plan of yours work again? Oh, 
It's very simple. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. Right, thanks. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. Ah, uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Ah, Rufus. I thought you were on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo, I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot, and, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah, great. Thanks, I guess. Lonzo. Yeah? Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me this place would be dead. Well, without you there would be fewer explosions. No it must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> if you find a new word that makes you look less like a frog. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really gets you awake. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo? Are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey. Wow. You have a pipes? Tanks? Valves? It's a... It's a... It's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch the machine off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor, following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. 
It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm so excited! <laughs> what a squall. Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. It, hmm, none of these things can be found in Kuba. Ah, never mind. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. Huh? What was that? Oh, the emergency station has opened again. Well, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. The clown amongst the anesthetics. <laughs> Clowns. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter, though, because I'm always cautious. Strike! No great in the world can hold me back. There, it moved while you were blinking. Ah, ah, uh ah, -huh. brilliant idea, Rufus. What could a lonesome bull crave more than a well chilled glass of Nat's piss? Okay, I'll use the cow. Main thing is that it works. Aw, does that upset you? Well, <laughs> an accomplished matador like me knows how to bring the blood of a bull to a boil. Or whatever liquid it is that's pumping through those tubes. Ugh, I hate syringes. Luckily, I've developed an immunity to tetanus. I wonder what that stuff tastes like. I've only ever been injected right into the heart muscle so far. This is Wenzel's house. 
He'll be flabbergasted when he hears about my newest adventure. I bet he'll be pretty disgruntled because he decided not to come with me. He'll start shaking and get crying fits. Why am I not as cool and daring as you, Rufus? <laughs> I also want to experience such great excitement. <laughs> but deep down in his heart, he knows that he just isn't cut out for this. He'll get seriously depressed. Oh boy, I really hope he's home. Wenzel! Hey, Rufus. Back already? That was really fast this time. Yeah, yeah. This time, I almost made it. Unfortunately, like so often, my human kindness got in my own way. Of course. That darn human kindness of yours. It's always getting into your way, right? Indeed. You never get anything done anymore. Well, there are just too many humans. They should all be... Drowned in the Red Rust Sea. Exactly. That darn human kindness. By the way, thanks for all your stuff. What? Wait, isn't that my chest? Well, you said I could have your stuff if your plan works out. But... And your plan did work out. You just said so yourself, didn't you? Yes, yes, but... but... Well, that's settled then. Have you heard about that woman from Elysium? Who hasn't? This wouldn't have anything to do with you, by any chance. Hey, you know me. Wherever there's a woman that needs rescuing, I'm there. You're right. There really does seem to be a connection. Don't you want to go to the town hall? To apply for giving shelter to the Elysian woman? The thought has crossed my mind. I even got a waiting number. But then I thought, what have I got to offer? Yeah. Nothing. If I were rich or found a water vein, I might have a chance, but like this. I was there when the girl fell from the sky. It's all right. I'm sure it was just an accident. No, you're getting this all wrong. I saved her. Of course you did. By the way, you're holding up the line. So what? As long as I haven't found a water vein, I don't even have to show up. How the hell did you manage to open the trunk? Well, all you have to do is disengage the childproof lock. But the only thing in there was this weird stick. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. Again? You haven't even returned my lawnmower yet. Oh yes, the lawnmower. You'd better get a new one. The old one had lousy aerodynamics. <sighs> what is it this time? Hey, do you have any idea where I can get roasted beans? The only beans I know make your mouth burn. Can you use those? I don't know. I just need to make some kind of medicine, so I don't have to be too peculiar about the ingredients, right? Whatever you say. Do you have any idea where I can get a stimulant? Have you asked Dr. Gizmo? Oh, yeah. He did say something along those lines. I'm sure he must have something in his office. Good thing that I have such a phenomenal memory. I wouldn't have come to that conclusion otherwise. Do you have any idea where I can get some blackish powder? Black powder? No idea. Aren't you the expert concerning all things explosive? After all, every other invention of yours blows up. Which at the same time means that every first one doesn't. Do you have any idea where I can get clear water? Clear water? Pfft, that stuff only exists in legends. So what? My whole project is legendary. <laughs> Legend has it that your father once found clear water. That's how he got to be mayor of Kuvak. They say that there are still a few bottles hidden away in the town hall. That's my old man, all right. He left Deponia, but instead of bequeathing me his fortune, he hid it. At least he left you the divining rod. Maybe it is possible to find some water with it. <laughs> Dream on. Do you have any idea where I can get revitalizing fluid? I once heard that it is supposed to be revitalizing to drink the blood of a bull. You believe everything people tell you, don't you? Like I'll get back the money that I loaned you? Exactly. Do you have any idea where I can get energy-rich water? Energy-rich water? What's that supposed to be? The only energy I know of is in the car batteries you find in the trash heaps everywhere. Yeah, well I should have guessed that you can't give much useful information concerning energy, lazy bum. I think I'd better do this myself. Let's be honest, you were never a big help anyway. Whatever you say. <laughs> never a big help. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> 
What? <laughs> you don't get it? Not a big help. Because you're small. <laughs> That's my father's divining rod. You think so? Legend has it that it always brought him luck. He found the water vein Kuvax built on with this very rod. Yeah? Well, if my father really always had that much luck, then why didn't he manage to take me along when he left Deponia? Eh, I haven't the slightest idea. Maybe you can help me organize a few things. <sighs> what is it this time? I think I'd better do this myself. Whatever you say. Later. Exactly. Don't even think about it, Rufus. It's mine now. But it's a family heirloom. So? A gift is a gift. Boy, I can hardly wait to give it a try. Maybe I can find a well somewhere near. And once I'm rich... We'll split 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> I might lend you the rod for a couple of hours. If my impeccable sense of orientation doesn't fail me, I should be under the shower right now. <laughs> Looks like Tony's in her store. If I go in now, her taunting remarks will shower down on me like a hailstorm. Ah, uh, well, what the heck. Let's get this over with. Well, 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 look who's back. If it isn't Evil Knievel, the man who defied gravity, the conqueror of the sky, the wind jockey, the traveler on his way to the upper spheres, and yet, here he stands, right in front of me. Who'd have thought? Believe it or not, this time I really made it. I was on board an Organon cruiser. Its destination, Elysium. And then the longing for me became too much to bear. I had to choose a life of eternal bliss, which means far away from you, or saving a beautiful Elysian girl from a horrible death. <laughs> yeah, right. Rufus is doing a selfless deed. I would love to laugh, but my belly's still aching from when you were dragged through the junk. I'll show you. I'll wake the girl, and she'll take me to Elysium, and then you'll be sorry. You'll all be sorry. How's business? Like, uh, when did that interest you ever? Who says I take an interest? I'm just being extremely polite. Ha! <laughs> First and foremost, you have an extremely distorted view of yourself. Oh, that's because my reflection in the mirror is so blindingly bright. Oh! <laughs> Why so cranky? Why? You have destroyed my mailbox, devastated my backyard, gobble down all my food supplies, and if I find out that the disappearance of my favorite pair of boots is connected in any way to the construction of your ridiculous escape pod, may God have mercy on your soul. I had to carry the black powder in some kind of vessel, didn't I? What? Uh, nothing. I wanted to say goodbye before I leave this dump. New escape plans, have we? You are deluded. You'll never get out of here. Never, ever, ever. And that means I'll have you on my back for the rest of my life. What are those vouchers? They're gift vouchers. You hand them in at the post office, and they deliver the merchandise. Cool. I'll take them. Hey, hands off! What? They don't come free. I thought they were gift vouchers. Ugh. You wouldn't have some coffee somewhere around here, would you? Since you've been staying with me, I've only had decaf. And even that is too strong. Maybe I should finally get rid of the coffee grinder. It's just using up space, like you. I need some ingredients. If there's nothing in the fridge, you won't be getting anything else. No, I mean... End of discussion. Start earning your own money, and you'll be able to buy your own food. I've got to go. <sighs> I've been saying that for years, but here you still are.
Hey, stop it! What exactly are you trying to pull off? I just thought it'd be good to take some of these mail-order coupons with me. Then I can use them to send all my friends on Deponia some uh, hooks and uh, lead weights, obviously, uh, just like it says on these vouchers. Okay. First of all, you don't have any friends. You are a self-centered egomaniac who doesn't give a bleep about anybody apart from himself. Besides, what makes you think you could just walk in here and take things from my store? Couldn't I just pay you later? Pay me later? Pay me later? How the heck are you gonna pay me back, smartass? Or did you finally, after all these years, get a real job? Did you? Well, not exactly, but... Isn't it enough? That I still let you live at my place? That I still feed you? And I guess you think you're thanking me by letting me get rid of all the junk and garbage you produce every day. Why am I still putting up with this? I mean, really, why do I still do it? It's not like we're still... Oh, this sucks! My blood pressure! I have to meditate. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ah, ouch! Hey! Um... <laughs> um... Ouch! Look at that! Ah, <laughs> oh, such a tiny wound, and what a great pleasure! That is to say... Wait a minute. You dirty rat! Did you try and steal hooks from me again? Tony, please! I'm bleeding to death here! If there was even the slightest bit of hope that you'll ever learn from your mistakes, I'd say, suit yourself. But unfortunately, you've proven once too often that you'll never learn. So here you go. Just take the key for the first aid kit and get out of my store! If you didn't nag all the time, maybe I'd be able to listen to what you're saying for a change.